Hello everyone. Welcome to the seventh part of modeling, analysis, and design of PB structure. I am Shurujit Ghosh, and in this session, I will discuss how we can easily isolate a part of the structure or select few members using view management, and how to save any view as an external image file. I will use the same PB structure which we have been developing in this series with tapered column and raptor. If you want to know more about this structure or about the member and support specifications used in this model, you can go through the playlist on modeling, analysis, and design of PAB structure. All the videos can be accessed from here. We are almost done with modeling the basic geometry. There are several other structural components like a crane girder, end wall members, or intermediate columns, which I will cover later. This model is very simple, and once we are familiar with all the required steps, including the analytical and physical modeler, then we will start working with a large PEB structure, something like this. This is how the real life warehouse or manufacturing unit looks like, and it is not that different from the warehouse model that we are developing. I have used an automation tool to generate and optimize this structure. I will cover that later. When we handle this type of large model, a major challenge is to select or filter a part of the structure for property, load, or design parameter assignment. For example, to assign an UDL on the roof purlin, first we need to isolate these members. In last few videos, I have covered several methods, how we can select the required members. To select the roof purlin members, we need to combine few of those. First, select all the members parallel to z-axis. This will highlight all the roof and side purlin members. Next, we can isolate these members in a new view. We need to remove the side purlin members from this selection, right? We can change to the front view and select all the members located at the roof level. Member offset is assigned to move the purlin in local y-axis. That's why there are two nodes connected with a dotted line. Once again, select a new view. And this time, we have only the roof purlin members which we require for the load or design parameter assignment. This selection process is lengthy and several steps are required to filter out all the unnecessary members. Not only that, if we go back to the whole structure view, then all these efforts will be lost. Next time when we require these members, maybe to change the section or assign a new design parameter, we need to repeat all these steps once again. To eliminate this, we need to preserve this view or selection of members. For that, either we can use the view management option or create a group. View management is more generic than the group option, used mainly for the modeling purpose, and there are also few advantages. First, let's discuss how we can store this view. In the view ribbon, there is an option to manage a view. I'm not sure if you have used this option before, but it is very handy and useful when you work with any large structure. Most of these options are grayed out as no view is generated yet. We can export this view as an external image file and later use that in the report. In the project report, we need to include several snapshots of the structure to inform the reviewer how the load is applied or for which members the design parameter is assigned. We can easily generate a view instead, like a view of the gravity load, then export it to an image file and finally include this picture in the report. For any project, a detailed report file is a must and we can easily use this option to generate a proper report. I will cover the report file generation later. There is another option to save and access the view directly from StatGUI. This save view option preserves the current selection and anytime we can return to this active window using this saved view. For example, I want to save this Perlin isometric view 
with the name Rupparlin. Now the other options are active and we can easily remove or rename any view from here. To access this view, first I want to switch from this window to the whole structure view. Say we want to assign an effective length parameter to this Rupparlin members. Under the open view option, this view is listed and we can simply double click on the name to return back to the root Perlin view. Now we can easily select a design parameter and assign it to those members. Easy, right? With this view management, we don't have to repeat all those steps again and again to select few members from a model. For any large steel or concrete structure, this option is very useful. We can save multiple views which we need to access multiple times for load or property assignment. Like for this G plus 14 story building, I have saved the plan view of each floor and I can easily select any floor. Isolate the view and apply a load or change any property directly from here. I have followed the same steps to save couple of views in this model. As you can notice here, one view is for the Rupparlin member, one for the entire roof without the bracing, one for the end panels, and finally one for the side panels. I will use these views for future modifications and assignment, like this view to model crane gutter and apply moving load. By the way, I can access the same open view option from the quick comments toolbar. I have already customized this toolbar and included the open view option here. I like to work with the quick comments. If you want to know more about customization of quick comments or quick access toolbar, you can check my previous videos. There is another option to store and access the selected geometry using group option that I will cover in the next video. See you soon.